just under 30. So the water is going in. Let me tip it back here. I got a little bit of leak uh, with a couple fittings coming through down here where it got the uh, positive coming through and the, the, the water supply. It's got a little bit of a uh, leak against this board here. So evidently I'm going to have to come up with something a little bit better. But it's easy to tear down. There's 18 bolts holding it together. This is my original smack cell thing. Right now it's my, my reservoir and circulator. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And if you shave off the structural nuts in that, you're dealing with about two and a quarter inches or so. That's all the thick it is. And it's about probably, uh, well, the circle in there is a ten and a half inch circle. So I'm guessing that it could be cut and trimmed to about a 12 by 12 uh, unit. Well, these are not stainless steel bolts here. These are regular bolts because they don't go in the solution. There's just one gasket I made uh, out of the stuff I got over at Lowe's. It's worked for everything. And let me feel the, uh, the temperature gauge here. Well, it, it's, it's, it's warm. It's warm. And let's feel what the cold, what's, what's the return? Is it, is it? It's a lot cooler. Okay. So, um, pretty neat. So, proof of concept. Now the thing to work with is making some kind of uh, uh, reservoir and gas extraction that would be very flexible to do. Okay, so not lighting off any gas, but it, I mean I could, but I'm not doing it. Okay, we're running 25 amps. Uh, this has been the... Uh, uh, what they call the so-called dry cell. I had taken it apart, uh, inspected it. Uh, no, really, no. Um, it was clean inside. And I guess I'd run it 20, 30 hours. It's now been running off and on. It's been running, uh, I guess, 50, 60 hours. Uh, and we're still running with the same water supply. This is the... Uh, the double uh, bubbler, which I built, I'm just testing first time. It's a uh, push-on cap. You might be able to see the the uh, wrap of tape. Uh, the thing there is, if it explodes, it'll just pop the thing off. But look at the 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 the, the amount of gas coming out is more than I had when I was using the, the gas separator.